What's going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be doing a full in-depth review of SEOwriting.ai. SEOwriting.ai is one of the best AI writers in the market. There's a lot of really, really useful tools and allows you to generate high quality articles very quickly. There's a variety of different templates in which you can choose from when using SEO Writer. You have the one-click blog post generator, you have the bulk article generation, blog posts, product roundups, product review, product list workflow, how-to guides, and a simple editor. So if you want to use a one-click blog post, you would simply click on that um, template and you can enter your main keyword. So let's say, for example, how to get a mortgage is my main keyword. Then I can generate a title based upon that keyword, how to get a mortgage step-by-step. I can choose my language. I can choose my target country. For me, it would be Canada. I can choose my point of view if I like to do so. I can choose the article size. So medium is 2,400 words and large is 3,600 words. Now, this is where it gets pretty cool. I can use or choose between my AI models. And keep in mind that the more advanced the model is, the more expensive it is. So for example, Anthropic Cloud 3 Opus will charge you 10 generations. So right now I am on the the light plan which i believe has 50 generations so i can only generate five articles using opus right now if i wanted to i can also use gpt 40 oh, and this will only cost me four um generations which i believe would be about 10 11 or 12 um articles right using gpt 40 oh. if i use sonnet it's the same amount or generations and if i use haiku it's only one generation so it's one to one so if i have 50 credits then i can generate 50 articles using haiku or gpt 3.5 and uh gpt 428k turbo so as you can see here the cost of the article is going to be based upon the model in which you choose so the higher model will cost you a little bit more which makes sense because they cost um, the API calls are a little bit higher for those specific models. So let's say, for example, we wanted to use um, GPT, or let's say we wanted to use Anthropic Claude 3 Opus, we can use that specific um, model. And then for humanized text, we can go with the recommended, which is grade eighth and ninth grade, and there already has and already has a humanizer included into the prompt. So I think the content um, would enhance readability and bypass AI detection automatically. So we can then include details into the article if we like to do so, like phone numbers or business information. And then what we can do is we can add images. So we want to add three images. We're going to leave it as photos. And then we can choose the image size if we like to do so. And then we can choose a um, if you wanted to include uh, YouTube videos. So it will actually pull a YouTube video and embed that video into the topic. Or sorry, into the blog post. For SEO, we can then go ahead and increase or include our own keywords, or we can use the NLP generation and it will generate keywords based upon the topic in which you're writing about. For the hook or the introduction, we can choose a question, stat, quotation, story, or personal or emotional. For this example, let's try a story and see what that looks like. And then we have the conclusions and the tables and whatnot, and these are all going to be customizable. You can also externally link so we can choose to custom include um, external links or automatic. This is a paid um, a paid plan that you need to have for the pro professional plan, which I think starts at $79. This is another cool feature is which allows us to connect to the web. So we can do basic web, which quickly finds thematic sources and uses them at factual basis, or we can do deep web, which anal analyzes a hundreds of the most relevant websites with stats data to create factual accurate articles incorporating automatic citations and they've also added in citations and source links so citations will be in text and source links would be at the end of the articles so this brings you more authority towards your articles and just fact checks your actual articles which is really really good and very very useful so we're gonna make sure we add that in there and then we're good to go and then you can go ahead and generate the content since i'm running low on on tokens let's run this using haiku for fun because i kind of want to see how haiku does so we're going to run this and we're going to give it some time i did a live video earlier today in which i used the bulk generation mode so if you want to see what the bulk generation mode looks like it's the second template here you can enter your main keyword blog post title and then you can even generate nlps from that or enter your own keyword you add your own row and then that is where you can then enter as many articles as you like 
just making sure that you have enough credits of course so once you do so you can then run it and what it's very very easy to use as you can see i don't want to really uh, blow past that but that's pretty much how you get started but then sorry you actually need to go ahead and make sure your settings are correct so make sure you have the models that you're using humanized tax target country media hook um if you want to connect to the web and all of that just keep in mind that if you're connecting to the web it's going to take a little bit longer so these were the two articles that i used for the bulk generation as you can see that's the bulk generation icon so refinancing a house in ontario 3200 words i believe i used gpt 4 for this yes i did um because it was eight tokens so this is what it looks like we got a nice table here um mortgage rates are falling in 2024 this means it's a good time for ontario owners think about refinancing da, da, da. and then we have a nice table here and a conclusion and the faq so pretty good article i would say um not too bad xyz credit union of course it's not necessarily always going to have the most up-to-date information when it comes to like including tables of uh, and things of that nature but again it's not a bad article i think it's pretty good so we can actually use the meta tags we can copy over this uh, article over and then use it into our into our websites so that's the first article the second article is private lending how to get a private mortgage in ontario again struggling to get a mortgage from banks it might be because of your credit or income look for look into private lending da, da, da. key takeaways differences between traditional banks and traditional and private uh, mortgages private mortgage lender and then you have some fees here so this is pretty good information and faq so again really really good information here 3400 words very long um in depth I don't think well because we use the bulk generation mode it didn't include any images or videos but that's okay you can always do that with the other modes so this is almost finished while that's finishing up this is a other article in which i generated on self-employed business owners in ontario i believe we used opus for this but as you can see these are the images in which you get as you can tell with the ai images the text always gives you some issues but this is the video, what it looks like once they add that video onto the actual blog post topic. And then this is the secondary image. I think there's one more image at the bottom here. So this is really good. This is over 4,000 words and they have citations and source links included. So really, really good article. So this is at 99%. Let's give it a second. So it's finished. Cool. How to get a mortgage step by step where we are using Haiku. I think I used an anecdotal for this. Picture a young duo, Anna and Michael, starting their home journey to buy a home. They feel a mix of joy, blah, blah, blah. Understanding your financial readiness. Fixed versus variable rates. Home appraisal. Underwriting. Refinancing your mortgage. Oh, why is it talking about refinancing? Well, I guess you can also talk about that as well, too. Conclusion with an FAQ, and you have your source links. So very, very complete article, I would say, that we're getting back here from from SEO writing and again 4,261 words so pretty good in terms of um word count so these are really really good articles um I would definitely recommend trying out SEO writing for yourselves I will leave a link for um a free trial in the description below today's video I think it's a really really good tool as you can see it's very easy for you to generate high quality in-depth articles you can include images and you can include videos Hope that you guys enjoyed this review. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.